Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. I'm your host, Krista Porter, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Uh, Encompass Live is the commis Commission's weekly webinar series where we cover um, a variety of topics that may be of interest to libraries. Um, the show is broadcast live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time, but if you're unable to join us on Wednesdays, that's fine. You can always watch any of our archives um, later when it's more convenient for you. Um, and I will show you at the end of today's show where all those archives are on our website. Uh, Encompass Live is uh, run by the Nebraska Library Commission. So we have, um, and the Nebraska Library Commission is the state agency, for those of you who aren't from Nebraska, is a state agency for libraries here in the state. So we provide services and training and consultation and, and grants and whatnot for all types of libraries across the state. So public, academic, schools, um, correction facilities, museums, if hospitals. you're a library, hospital, yeah, if you're a library, we're here for you. So we also have the same kind of programs on our show here today as well. Uh, we, so you will find topics on our upcoming shows in our archives that should cover anything. Really our only criteria is that it is about libraries. Um, libraries is our focus. Anything libraries are doing, something we think they could be doing, uh, cool new services or products that they might um, be interested in. So um, it's a really broad <laughs> of, um, topics that we have. Uh, we do have Nebraska Library Commission staff that come on and do presentations on things that we are specifically offering here in Nebraska. Uh, we also bring in guest speakers from outside of the commission, and we have a mixture of that here today. Um, this morning, we are talking about the Great American Read, which is a huge, great new program recently done um, by PBS, and we're going to get more into the details about that. And with us this morning is, uh, and we'll get more um, detailed in uh, introductions, but Mary Jo Ryan Hi. Who is the communications coordinator here at the Nebraska Library Commission for how many more days? Um, a few more days. <laughs> a few more days. Mary Jo is retired. I'm going to retire. This is her last Encompass Live with us. Yeah. Yeah. It's Talking been about swell. It's perfect. Thank you, Krista. <laughs> Um, and also uh, right next to her is Martha Ellen Florence, Hello, good who morning. is from our Nebraska NET television, our local PBS station in Nebraska. And at the end there, Katie Martha Hi. from Lincoln City Libraries, just up the street here in Lincoln as well. So um, we're all going to talk about the Great American Read, what it is, what it's all about, um, and what you could do at your library to um, help promote it, because it's getting um, geared up again just exactly. next week. So, and um, Martha Ellen, you're going to take it away first. I am, and I'm very excited to uh, be here this morning to give you a little idea about the Great American Read. So the Great American Read is an, an eight-part series that explores and celebrates the power of reading. And so we're really excited to be able to bring this to Nebraska. What happened was um, they looked at 100 different books, and if we would change the slide, I'll... Um, so how were the top, how were they chosen? And the PBS and producers worked with the PBS polling service, YouGov, to, to conduct a demo, uh, demographically and statistically, that's a mouthful, <laughs> a representative <laughs> survey, asking Americans to name their most, most loved novels. And approximately 7,200 people participated. So um, here is a list of how they, they, they uh, narrowed the list of the top 100 and uh, they had a group of 13 literary industrial professionals. And so each author was limited to one title on the list. Books were pu books published in a series of featuring ongoing character um, counted as one eligible entry. So for example, I like that. Yeah. yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah, well, so example, if you had Harry Potter, yeah, you know, it's it. not every Harry Potter, but just the whole well, series. My favorite one is, but no, that's we okay. don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So books could be from anywhere in the world, as long as they were published in English, and they're only fiction, and we'll talk about that in a minute, uh, could be included in the poll, and each advisory panel was permitted to select one book for discussion and possible inclusion on the top 100 list from the longer list of the survey results. Okay. So why are why why fiction? You know why weren't there religious works? So the Ameri Great American Read is searching for the country's best loved novels. So why we recognize the broad ca uh, categories of books available, we chose to narrow our focus to work on uh, works of fiction because it would be impossible, as you all know, mm -hmm. to cover them all. So the, the course of uh, the course of an eight part series. Mm -hmm. I read somewhere that people were concerned about well, what about nonfiction? Mm -hmm. That's a great. You know, why is it? That's next year. Yeah, exactly. That would be a future 
keep, you know, tell, tell PBS, we want to go with nonfiction books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, we have a, a really extensive um, web page for PBS National. So mm -hmm. go online and say, you know, we want nonfiction next time see and see what happens. So the books are uh, books are included on the list are fictional titles, um, authors, periods, mm -hmm. countries, genres, subject matter. And the list includes books from as far back, which I think is really exciting, 1600s. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. And as recent as two, 2016, which uh, some of those I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. But from, <laughs> that's just me. I know. But, you weren't uh, in that sample. I wasn't in that yeah. sample. <laughs> so... Um, some of them are the kind of the classic beloved ones that, you know, um, many of those I said, oh, I read that in high school. I read that in mm -hmm. elementary school. I read that, in, you know, so uh, as a young adult. So it was very exciting. So there's there's thrillers, there's classics, there's sci-fi, there's adventures. And um, the actual broadcast will be divided up into six categories. <clears throat> so here's the schedule. We had the launch on May 22nd, and you can actually watch that online now and I will talk a little bit uh, later on in the presentation about the NET website because that goes up on September 11th we're going to kick that off and that actual that video will actually be available if you'd like to show that in your library if you'd like to show that to folks it's the two-hour overview of what the great American read is so that's called the launch special then we come back um, on February uh, I'm, I'm sorry, September 11th, which is the fall kickoff. Next week. Exactly. Yeah, and it kind of is, it's a more condensed version of the one that aired on the 22nd. Wow. So then we go to uh, the, the genre. So it's like, who am I? The heroes, the villains and monsters, what mm -hmm. we do for love, other worlds, and the grand finale on the 23rd when we announce the one book that people love. So here's your job that you're supposed to vote for help us choose the favorite book out of the 100 books. There'll be 100, there are 100 books, but there's only one winner. And you'll see at the bottom there, that's netnebraska.org slash great read. And the, there's not a space there, it's great read. I should have put it together. <laughs> but, um, and all the information, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. So we'll have links to the national site. We'll have links to other things, other um, specialty like YouTube and Facebook that, they're doing special for this particular initiative mm -hmm. but um just go to anythingnebraska.org great read and that'll that'll um, and i think people can vote as often as they want right every yes, day if they every want every day i've been doing it as often as i want <laughs> yeah, so too. this is a case to vote early and vote often mm -hmm. yeah this is one chance you, you can do that yeah. to pop to the top there yeah. you go <laughs> so here just uh, this you know i wouldn't be a good steward to the station if i didn't show so I'd show you the uh, the funders and then um also the partners, and I'm, I'm sure you see some of the logos that are very familiar to you on uh, the partner list. And we're, we're really excited about having these folks as our, our initial national partners. So it's this overview, it's a celebration of the joy of reading. And so it's an eight broadcast episodes. There's gonna be a very extensive digital campaign, mm -hmm. social media campaign and community engagement. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. And of course, you can find all that information again on netnebraska.org slash great read. Sometimes this thing just does not want to do it, does it? Yeah. There, there we go. go. So how do you vote? And like we said, you can vote every day. So um, voting began on May 22nd. And so did uh, the, you can vote on Facebook. You can vote on Twitter. And then on July 17th, you can. we are now able to text. And then starting uh, after the kickoff, the, well, the recap of the kickoff, um, you can do it by phone. That'll be an interesting phone call. <laughs> I know, I know. And all that information will also, once again, be on our webpage. Okay. This kind of gives you an overview. Um, there'll be information we will, like I said, we will link you to the national site. And I can't tell you how much stuff there's there. There's, oh, there's a crazy, amount, of crazy amount of resources. So mm -hmm. um, in addition to the, the things that NET.org will be providing for you, would also encourage you to go to the PBS site as well. And then if you want to share your story, you can do it one of two ways. You can go to the national site and upload, you know, your text, your videos, your audio using the site on the, uh, the upload button on the national site. Or we also encourage you to come to facebook.com slash NET Nebraska because we want to hear what your favorite book is. We want to hear, we want to see video. We want to see pictures of what you're doing in Nebraska. 
that's what's been great about this is seeing people talk about the books mm -hmm. um, and about the books that did not make the list. Mm -hmm. Like, why didn't my favorite whatever get <laughs> exactly. there? Um, there's You're a right. Facebook group that I found, and I, I assume I found it through the Great American Read, um, that's actually a Great American Read book club group. It's an open mm -hmm. group on right, Facebook, right, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are people there constantly doing this exact thing, sharing, you know, I love this book, or I'm just starting this one, I've never read it, can someone, you know, tell me more about it, or I started this book and I can't believe I hated it. It was just, I, I can't believe people thought it was good. And it's, it's just so cool to see so many people with different opinions and stuff. And that's Which is so much what a book club is like. Exactly. For exactly. all of you who are yeah. involved in book clubs, you know, you sit, you go around the room and people are talking and it's like, what are you thinking? I didn't feel that way. Right. You know, it's really a lot of different feelings. So the available resources, um, this is kind of, we'll, these are some of the books that will be featured. And we'll, if we want to change the, so um, PBS Digital Studios, that we're developing some original programming that will be on YouTube and Facebook. So there'll be a, a whole host of little little mini platforms. So uh, say, for example, in your library, you have a, a monitor that you can loop things. You know, you can use the YouTube and, and Facebook. Well, it sounded like my grandma, the YouTube. You can, use, <laughs> you can use YouTube and Facebook and there'll be a little um, like mini series that, that, that kind of highlights some of the books. Is this the ones I've seen they, every now and then there's like a little, like a short video of like a celebrity talking about their exactly. favorite. Mm -hmm. So this is something different from the actual long, hour long episodes. Exactly, exactly. A little, little, maybe a minute piece or right. you know, 20, 20 seconds. So something quick you can share. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. And so the digital, here's some of the themes that uh, the, the digital studios will be producing for the Great American Read and it's called Facebook Watch. So there's an actual Facebook page that's Facebook Watch, and we will be able to link you to all, all this information will be either on our site or link you to that, to mm -hmm. the site. So these are some of the themes that folks will be talking about. The so worst villain in literary history. Moriarty. I know. Uh, so is the book always better than the movie? That's sort of what our next Encompass Live is going right, to be about. Right, right. On right. September 11th, we'll be mm -hmm. having some of our well, staff, right? Next week's the 12th. 12th. Wednesday's the 12th. Well, okay. <laughs> September 12th, yes. yeah. And we'll be talking about that. Yeah. So that will really fit with the Great American Read. Right, right. Let's see what we're talking about. And then, of course, here are the resources that are on. It's it's PB, it's source dot pbs dot org mm -hmm. now those are everything that they have on the website so it's source pb and you'll have to sign up mm -hmm. it's free of charge but you actually just have to um set up a uh, an account mm -hmm. so there'll be stickers there'll be buttons there's all those uh, everything's printable and then you will also uh, able to customize it to whatever your library needs are. That's great offering though, because I know a lot of libraries are probably trying to, what can we put together graphically mm -hmm. ourselves, but PBS mm -hmm. did it all for you. Right, mm -hmm. right, yeah, you yeah, have, you have, have design on your own. no designs at all. It's perfect. There it is. And so, um, once again, our NET webpage kicks off a, a September 11th, following the one hour recap, and then voting it online, as I said before, started May 22nd, and it's open through October 18th, 2018. Um, the, the NET web page will have uh, show facts, uh, provide the, the book list of the 100 books, the voting rules information, and little snippets of some of the ep episode details. And some of the features, users can um, log on, and then you can actually click on the list by either title, last name of the author, the year, published, or the genre. And then there'll be like a uh, we call it TGAR, a T Great American Read <laughs> button that will link you to the national site. So you can either do netnebraska.org slash Great American Great Read or source.pps.org. And so what is um, available from NET? We are, pre we prepared um, 200 Great American Read posters that we will be happy to send to libraries. Nice. So you just need to either email me and my email information is at the bottom there and my phone number and say, I would like a Great American Read poster. And then we also have um, a limited number, probably, I don't know how many we have. I'm not even gonna say, cause I don't have a printing. But there are two-sided bookmarks with not only information about the Great American Read and the web 
and our web page, but also the series schedule. So you can keep your you and, and the folks that visit your library can keep track of the actual schedule. And if you're interested in, in hosting um, either the, the original kickoff um, show or one of the upcoming theme episodes, let me know and I just might come out to your library and uh, <laughs> bring the show with you. Bring the show with me. Yeah. So, so when you want people to get a hold of you, can they start contacting you right away? Right away. Smart right thing? away. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and we every, and it, it will go straight up to if it's a if, if it's a theme series. If you um, want to do that leading up to that particular week, mm -hmm. and you'll and you can that particular episode, then let me know. But we can give me a call and we can chat and see what's best for your library. So this is great. If you don't have the ability or to do. A printout, like print up your own posters and mm -hmm. bookmarks. And these um, will be bigger and prettier, yeah. probably. Yeah. More. Yeah. yeah. How big is the poster? 11 by 17. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice yeah. <clears throat> and then, the, of course, the two sided bookmarks mm -hmm. are the two sided bookmarks, regular. Mm -hmm. But you get it like, it's got, I always like those a little like, souvenir kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. So then our Facebook, um, facebook.com, uh, NET Nebraska, we like, invite you again to share your story about your favorite novel. The novel does not have to be on the Great American Read book list. And please send your pictures and your videos. And if you look on, like, like Krista said, if you look on the uh, website, you'll see some examples of some of these videos. And they're mm -hmm. really cool. They're very yeah. cool. Very cool. You know, for some reason, this is a little delay. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Go back. There we go. No, nope, oh, go back. I got two of them. There, <laughs> there you go. we go. So just um, if you if you have newsletters, if you have um, information, you have listservs to get sort of uh, people excited about the Great American Read in your particular community. I've uh, put up here uh, Meredith Meredith Fierro, who is our host. You know where she will appear on television so people can actually see and get excited about um the great american read and then of course i think it's also interesting that uh, martha stewart living has come from I the, saw that. they'll That's run a piece cool. i know is that fun <laughs> that great american read in, in the september issue which is now so it's, it's gonna be on colbert mm -hmm. That's awesome. i know I, I was just smiling because i was uh -huh. thinking how much fun it would be to see her and steve colbert i know <laughs> so okay so here why, we go why it's important to read you know that kind yeah, of thing. see what his favorite book is exactly <laughs> So once again, this is the overview of the fall broadcast schedule. You know which ones are so you know what, what you have. And this actually will be the information that will be on the back of that um, bookmark yeah. as well. So folks will have that at the ready so they don't have to look. But we would invite you to come to the Nebraska, netnebraska.org webpage. But um, that'll be on there as well. So, you know, you are our secret weapon and the folks that come to your library are your secret weapon to really get excited about the Great American Read and Vote. So the following pictures are um, things that folks have already started doing in their particular library. So this is a series of pictures. Oh, maybe it's coming. Um, so um, if you have an, uh, an upcoming event around the Great American Read, please let us know and we'll post that on our webpage. We'll have a, an events page. And if you, if you know someone in your community or you're planning an event or someone else is planning an event around the Great American Read, please let us know. Please let me know and I'll uh, make sure that it gets on our webpage. And Martha Ellen's email's right there. It's mflorence at netad dot unl dot edu right 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 and here's some pictures there's some it looks pictures. like somebody set up a nice. voting booth in the library right and they have it attached to like an ipad which goes directly to the site so you That's can just mm -hmm. yeah. vote right there exactly here's some. and a and a book display mm -hmm. i know some libraries in nebraska have been doing book displays mm -hmm. so that you know some of the some of the more and then also on that web page on the national web page they'll tell you the top four 40 books that are in, in contention right now oh that's, that's what Chris yeah. yeah i had seen yeah. that yeah that and you can see who so if yours isn't up at the top there you mm -hmm. might want to vote more <laughs> and the, the the previous oh what was that oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay well there you go and so a live action i know there. that was okay. very fun so and this this kind of what uh pbs and in, in, in charlotte did with uh just their display so it kind of gives you an idea of a potential displays and it looks like a school huh? it's a little voting box little, little voting, voting box and just mm -hmm. a school and then uh i mean and they they posted some of the the very uh some of the some of the the, the top 40 top 40 uh so go. read vote share uh, once again it's netnebraska.org slash great read and finally if you uh have any questions or you need to get a hold of me or you just want to talk about books or anything 
Mark Ellen Florence, Director of Community Engagement, and my uh, email is there and my phone number. So thank you very much. Appreciate and the I'll opportunity. Come to the library to do a program. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she, she will bring a tape, and not a tape. She will bring a DVD. I will bring a DVD. Of the program. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you have any questions right now, uh, please don't hesitate to yes, just type up. You can raise your hand, and Krista will unmute your microphone, or you can just type in the chat box with your question. Because you know, if you have questions for any of us. Um, for me, for Martha Ellen, for Krista, for Katie, just uh, please do ask them right now. Don't wait for the end when we have questions and answers. And if you have any, um, want to share what you have been doing at your library, what you were planning on doing, go ahead and type that in and we can share that with everyone as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. any ideas that this sparks, because right. I know it's going to. You want to yeah. It. yeah, we're going to switch to new slides. Okay. New slides. And oh, just right. a reminder, voting ends on um, October 18th, mm -hmm. I think at midnight Pacific time. Right. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. you know, make sure you get your votes in before. Don't wait till the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, want the mouse to control? Um, you, you can, you can okay. go ahead and change it for me. Um, <laughs> Since I've been doing so. such a good job, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm Katie Murtha, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the programming guide. So this came out, and it's a 60-page um, free downloadable programming guide that will help you um, just um, decide what kind of programs you want to do. There's all kinds of great resources in it. The link is right there. And I'm just going to highlight some some parts of it so that there's a lot more to the programming guide than what I'm going to talk about. Um, another resource I just want to mention is this um, this one here that features uh, posters that you can adapt for your own um, library. There's memes, there's quotes. So, um, um, and at the end, I'll show you something that uh, we put together using one of these. So this is another great resource that you can use. Um, like Martha said, the, the episodes are kind of set up along uh, themes. And so the programming guide gives you the exact books that are gonna be in um, that episode. So that might help you um, if you want to do weekly displays or if you want to do anything that's kind of uh, weekly related, it will it will tell you the exact books that are going to be profiled. And in addition to that, if you want to have, um, we also have like a, uh, an hour long little episode that highlights those books. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do that the week before to preview in your library, that's right. available as well. Wow. Okay, so one of the things that um, the programming guide talks about is discussions. So um, it's really great because they have the weekly discussion questions that are related to the books that are on that theme. So that's really helpful. Um, and then they have just general tips for leading discussions. If you've never led one before, it's kind of fun to look through. Um, and they also have uh, highlight uh, TED Talks with the author. So if you want to focus on the author rather than the book, um, these are things that you can show, um, possibly, you know, a, a program of, about about a certain author. That's awesome. And um, I would, you know, I would say, you know, in addition, if you're going to show anything, what we've found especially is that you have to have a reason for someone to come to your library rather than watch it in their own home. So you need to think about what you can add to um, whatever program you're putting on that's going to uh, be an incentive for people to come out. And I think that the, these TED Talks with the authors is, is a real value added thing. Mm -hmm. I know in my book club, people will often watch uh, either an interview with the author or a TED Talk or something like that. And that really adds to the discussion a lot. It really does. And you learn so much about the, the author's motivation or something right. that, you know, they've, um, some experience that they had that they wanted to share or incorporate in their books. So I, I, I always find them fascinating to listen to. Now, if you're programming with film, um, they have a list of all the films that have, uh, all the books that have been adapted into film. So that's kind of nice. It kind of gives you a starting guide right there. Um, they also provide films with modern twists. Um, then there's also like if any kind of satires or spinoffs. A lot of those are kind of, especially if they're more modern, they're web series um, things. Uh, I know my daughters absolutely love the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which was um, mm -hmm. a takeoff on Pride and Prejudice. Um, there's so, just so many takeoffs on <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the one film that was and zombies the most, and um, <laughs> the most yeah. film adaptation. So um, it's just a great resource in terms of giving you um, places to go or look and, and kind of get ideas from. Um, and then you also have the author documentaries, which are kind of similar to the TED Talks. Um, so there's a list of those. And then anytime you're doing a public performance, you want to make sure that you're within copyright. So I have a link there to um, 
the Nebraska Library Commission, which mm -hmm. will talk about the site licenses available for Nebraska libraries. Um, but the other thing that I think is great about this is that it gives you um, a way if, if the movie that you want to show is not covered by the site license, it kind of mm -hmm. tells you the steps you need to take in order to, to get, get it, yeah. um, a, the copyright so that you can actually show it. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, think of things that are fun that will entice people to come. It's not just viewing a, a, a movie with popcorn. You got to do something more than that. <laughs> yeah. And so that public performance site license that we have, that's something that we do here at the Nebraska Library Commission to, um, uh, for all public, li all credited libraries in the state can, um, don't have to pay yourself to get these site licenses for certain ones. There's, there's multiple companies that do this and we work with a particular one. So yeah, go to our site, see which ones movies are covered by that. Um, and you may be able to just use that to uh, be able to show any sort of movies at your libraries. And if you can't remember, all you have to do is just go to our website, which is nlc.nebraska.gov, go into the search box, you can type in that. motion picture, boom, you'll have it. Because I can never remember all the long no. addresses. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have a search. Okay, so we're going to talk about some of the reading programs. Like I said, there's there's a lot more um, in the, this guide than what I'm talking about. So, um, but these are just some of the things that I thought were kind of um, fun to do. Just the just a book share discussion, which is always really fun. Just talking about what you know, what book meant most to you and, and why, and you know, learning from other people and kind of getting ideas on what to read next. Um, they have the speed dating type of a book swap. Oh, so nice. mm -hmm. you, you bring a book that you're willing to give away, mm -hmm. um, preferably something that's nice and new. Um, <laughs> but, you, you know, it's like a speed dating. If you've ever seen the speed uh -huh. dating where you sit down at a table with another person and you have like a, a minute or two each, you know, and you have a little bell that dings and then you get up and you go to the next table and you meet the next person with their book. And at the end of this, um, you get to swap you know, you figure out which book you might want to read and swap a book with somebody. So you got like a minute to sell the book to the person. Yeah. <laughs> why, do you, why do you want to read this? Um, and then they had a book tasting uh, event where uh, you kind of, uh, the library staff kind of serve books like you would um, oh, nice. uh, mm -hmm. if you were at a restaurant, get, you know, and, and have different offerings, um, different courses, types of things. There's an there. appetizer. <laughs> So, uh, you know, and have it kind of food inspired and, and it, it just sounded a lot of fun. I think I might like, try to do that in the future. Um, we're also moving into uh, Halloween. So this is the 100th anniversary of Frankenstein. So you can do, Frankenstein was published, I guess, in, in 18, um, 18. So, um, I mean, I'm sorry, 1918. So, um, you know, you could do something related to um to Frankenstein or Halloween or something like that. Um, we're getting kind of close to the end of, I think, the county fairs, but you could do mm -hmm. something Midwest inspired, fair related that would tie into Charlotte's Web. Um, you can try to do programming for all ages because they're uh, they give you a list of, of books that uh, would be appropriate for your maybe younger children as well, but you could always do some sort of uh, Mad Hatter's Tea Party mm -hmm. um, for, you know, that's multi generational, trying to pull in mm -hmm. other. Other like generations that, yeah. and um, get you know younger people inspired about reading some of these books because mm -hmm. um, I know some of them um, I kind of felt like I needed to be an adult to really get get it. I think sure. The Great Gatsby wasn't a part of my high school reading, um, so I tried to read it three times in high school and couldn't get through it. <laughs> and then I read it, went back to it in my 30s when I had kind of met a Tom and Daisy Buchanan and kind of got ran over by those people. All of a sudden it kind of clicked to me like, why this book oh, was so important. Oh, <laughs> so, now I can. Yeah. So, you know, that's kind of, it's kind of fun to, you know, you think about what, you know, what's appropriate for different ages, but it's kind of fun to do something that you can bring your kids to. Yeah, there's a lot of books well. that were, you know, we were taught, you know, had to read in high school and that would fit that, that mo many of them, I, I remember now, I, I don't know if it's true, it seems like, it feels like there's more young adult books mm -hmm. out there than when I was in high school mm -hmm. a long time ago, we will not mention. Uh, because I remember all the books I read that we were told to read were about adults mm -hmm. doing things, you know, Jane Eyre and Great Gatsby and, oh, uh, what, uh, of course now you realize they weren't really that yeah. adult, they were yeah. only like, yeah. Yeah. It felt like they were adults when I was reading yes, it. Yes, they seemed mm -hmm. grown up. And we talked about it in the whole what you're supposed to discuss about you know books in your English class, but identifying with them, not so much. Well, yeah. sometimes you just have to have go back and reread yeah. to to really mm -hmm. appreciate 
where the book is coming from. Yeah. But those are some some kind of fun reading programs. Um, there's other ones in the programming guide. So um, go ahead and get that programming guide. Like I said, it's a free download. Um, so in terms of display ideas, the nice thing about this programming guide is it gives you subject headings for each week's episode. So it's really mm -hmm. easy to search your library's cat holdings and find out oh, what cool. do I have that's going to uh, be appropriate for, for the week. Um, Beyond the just the hundred list mm -hmm. of 100. Right, right. 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 Nice. You can you know, grab anything because hopefully your you know, 100 are checked out at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've run into that where we've looked up and our display is empty and it's okay, what are we going to put up there right now? That's a good problem. To have. Um, and, and you might have to think about maybe some interactive displays. Um, one of the things we've had a lot of success for was like, you know, voting. Um, but mm -hmm. if you're going to do a voting, make sure it's really obvious that this is not going to be, you know, you need to go to the PBS website to sure. do mm -hmm. an actual vote. So, um, like, you know, you might want to think of things like within the week's themes, which one of this is, you know, the local favorite in, in our in our library. Um, but make sure that you're um, encouraging your customers to go directly to PBS to vote and, and get their vote counted there. Um, we also have Banned Books Week coming up, and I think there's about 40, approximately 40 mm -hmm. books that um, have been banned or challenged at uh, some point. Mm -hmm. So that's a great tie-in for Banned Books Week. Um, and the, the guide also has um, all of the settings for all these books. I think that's yeah. just a so, cool idea. That's you know, very nice. You yeah. could do a travel log based on settings, or you know, um, you know, visit these different parts of uh, the world where these settings take place. Um, so there's there's all kinds of great display ideas as well in this in this guide. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about what Lincoln City Libraries is doing. And um, you see the picture here. This is the poster that we got um, from that previous. Uh, the link where you can get the free posters and we just um, changed it but um, we've got we started with a, a, a launch viewing so the the two hour viewing we we did um, a couple weeks ago and it's it is two hours so we broke it up with desserts great dessert is, by the way um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is nice to you know kind of um, take a little bit of a break when you have something so long but we're going to start out with the, um, the fall kickoff on September 11th, and we're doing a, a taco about books. Um, and so we're offering a taco bar. Everybody who comes Ooh. can get some tacos. Mm -hmm. But we're also bringing in our local booksellers. Mm -hmm. So we've got people from um, Francie and Finch and from Indigo Bridge that are going to come. Mm -hmm. And they're going to talk about what's selling. So I think that's kind of interesting too. What people in Lincoln are really enjoying. Um, so we have a, like an hour for the um, eating and discussion, and then we're going to go back into uh, watch the the the, um, the kickoff, and that's going to be an hour long. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, two book clubs that are that meet at different uh, branches. So we're going to do book shares at those two branches um, in September and October where we're, you know, talking, basically talking about everybody's supposed to bring in the books that meant something to them and be able to talk about what, you know, what they enjoyed about that book. Katie, if I may, um, on the launch and one of the things that happens just mm -hmm. inadvertently when you sit around like, oh, I really, I forgot about that book, you know, mm -hmm. or something that, that that attached you can attach it uh, a life experience that's happened you know oh I remember I read this book when this happened or this you know so it's I mean this is a really really exciting opportunity for for libraries to take advantage of this as well well and it's um, it's interesting because you you get a lot of people that are like, oh, I want to vote for this one, I want to vote for that one, you know, and they can't decide which one to vote, vote for. Vote for as many I, as you want. I, uh, <laughs> and that's the way to do it. You don't have to just vote for one. I'm kind of yeah. thinking I'm like, I think there's at least 15 or so in the list of 100 that I'm mm -hmm. voting for every time. Right, right. <laughs> So, so that's, just, that's just my contact information if anybody wants it. But that little quote there, that's another one of those downloadables that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I guess it's very easy to use. Um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cool things like that that you can very easily just take and take the graphic and send it out through your Twitter or your Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it's already put together and there are multiple ones. And there's ones with the book covers on them um, or these quotes or the... Um, and I think we were going to go to that website, right? Yeah, to show people. Show. Yeah, and, and everything is edit editable. So right, you can awesome. you can change it to customize it to whatever your needs are. Add your library's info to it mm -hmm. if you are having an event. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, um, do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that now while we're talking about it. And also, if you have any questions 
or any suggestions? Did any of the things that Katie uh, mentioned or that Martha Ellen mentioned bring up any ideas for you? Um, please type right in your chat box or, and or yeah, ask us, know. raise your hand and we'll uh, unmute your yeah, microphone. microphone. So um, this, this I think is, a, what I would say is a really useful website because it's like you've got your vote now button right here. So if you send people here, they can vote right now. And you've got, and, and the NET website's not up yet. It'll be up at September 11th. September 11th. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll be ready for that. You can also watch the launch special, which you can watch on TV too, mm -hmm. coming up September 11th. No, no, that's that's the one that was on May 22nd. Oh, that's right. That was that's the main That's the big, that's, that's the real launch. The September 11th is be the relaunch. Relaunch. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is a smaller, hour long version. And you can join the book club, which I think is what you were talking about. I think Facebook so, yeah. book club. Yeah, we discussed novels on Facebook. Yep. You can share what has had the biggest impact on your life, and there's also the launch quiz. And one thing I like about the launch mm -hmm. quiz is there's a list of all the books here at the launch quiz. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Help me actually, read it, actually, go back up. They went right there. Download a. Okay, you do it for me. There it is right here. Uh, so there what is. there is here that we're just trying to show is uh, on this list, this is where you can take a quiz, see what you know, but there's a, a downloadable checklist, a PDF that you can um, print out for yourself. There it and is. And track, um, it has little tips here about go to vote, but you can track what books have I read, what books might I want to read, did I vote for the book I wanted to, um, and this also, they've been updating this throughout the um, the program. We discovered Mary Jo had one printed out that was totally different <laughs> yeah. a month ago. But, but it's the same list. There's not like, any oh, different course. books yeah. on it. It's just the design and what it also shows here is um each one each book they've given a hashtag to for voting as well that's right. how you do the twitter voting and i think the facebook as well right. mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. you've got to include that hashtag and that's how they're counting your votes in those social media areas and so it was so weird for me when i this. first got this list because i started checking off all the ones that i read and i thought I've read a lot of these books, and you know what? I'm not sure I remember some of them. Like that Agatha Christie book, I know I read this, and then there were none. I can't remember, remember exactly <laughs> which one of the Agatha Christie books it was. That is, there's so many. So I'd have to yeah. look at it again before I know if it's going to get a vote. So this is a two-sided PDF, so you can just, um, and I recommend, we did some playing around with this, um, I recommend downloading this to your computer first and then printing it out from what you download, otherwise you have to go find it every time, and we had some weird technical issues trying to just reprint it over and right. over again from the site, so don't do that, just download, and then go wherever you saved it and print it out from there, and you can mm -hmm. print it out as many copies as you need very easily. Um, and this is a handout in your libraries, yeah, of course. That's just what I was going to say. This is a good handout for your libraries. Because mm -hmm. it tells you what to do and what all the books are. Yeah, it gives you a little cheat sheet kind of thing of the uh, hashtags. And I wanted to go back to that resources section that Katie was talking about. Where the heck is um, that? I'm going to go back to the uh, There? Yeah. And then, is it, do you have to go back to the little lines to find it? I can't remember. There we go. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah, this is the downloadables. Posters, memes, book facts. So these are pretty cool. Aren't those cool? Mm -hmm. There's the one that you guys yeah. used. Yep. And we used um, the Join Us one for the uh, the, the two-hour book book one. Mm -hmm. We did that. So they're we really easy to, to edit, um, and they look quite nice when they're done. I like these ones. They did a lot as as tourism, to, like tourist uh, posters. <laughs> Come visit Mars. I know. Hitchhike the galaxy. The Martian. These ones, they did some really great. They did a great too. job with Come these. Come visit Narnia. Now, Katie, you said those are pretty easy to mm -hmm. uh, to customize. To customize yeah. So, did you do that? What what software did you do that? Did you download it into like Adobe Acrobat Pro? Uh, you know, um, the um, Barbara Hansen are. Um, administrative uh, assistant was the one who actually did it but i think if you just download it however you download it, it, it and then it comes up and, and you just have a can, place to fill know, it in if there's here's what you text boxes and things that you right. can add okay. so i mean I, so it's like I, an editable document to mm -hmm. begin with when yeah. you get it nice great that's um, fabulous we do have a comment from uh, kelly here she says she's at a high school library i think i will print out the list and see if we can check up all 100 collectively Oh, fabulous. Work with your oh. staff oh. together. I think yes. that's great. Then, you might not have read all 100. But. Right, and, and uh, make sure she posts that. and get, get If she were getting kids excited, that would be really Yeah, exciting. share it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Post it on Facebook. Yeah. Be sure and put the hashtag put in. Yeah. Right. And now I, here's the fun news that I've seen. I mean, yeah. you, and you've been seeing these in oh, people's yeah. posts. That's mm -hmm. great. 
Um, my idea I of an the, arm workout. Bookmarks <laughs> are for quitters. <laughs> I like that one. Even though we're giving out bookmarks, but it's not hoarding if it's books. That's me. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and then some cool book facts. These are really good too about um, readers are 10% more likely to report good self esteem than non readers. Uh, Book readers burn 50% more calories? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about some of these, but. <laughs> mental. It's all mental. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that works. Yeah. And then the quotes, just quotes Those are like various. Those like various. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're just real easy to, you know, copy and paste. Mm -hmm. I would always mm -hmm. rather be happy than dignified now. <laughs> Jane Eyre. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's always also a newsletter that you want to stay up on nationally. You see the mm -hmm. very bottom there. It says, yeah. Stay um, they, yeah. Uh -huh. You can always you put go. your email address in and then also keep up with the newsletter mm -hmm. while the national changes. Because um, traditionally, the way that we we do these these big initiatives that things will evolve, things will happen, so it's very organic. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. you want to stay up on what's happening, what's available to you. Like I said, that list has changed constantly. And um, let's see, what else do we have here? And here's the list. Um, for what you can oh, also print a checklist from here too. Oh, okay. there's a variety of ways to do that. Read more about them. Mm -hmm. Tells you this is cool, cool that does right gives a little yeah, synopsis mm -hmm. of the book in case mm -hmm. you're not sure. Don't remember. Like you said, I don't remember what it was, what that one was about. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then I'm both. sure I read it, but yeah. <laughs> which one was it? Because <laughs> I read them all once. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I have to say, I was surprised how few I had read. I, I read a lot, and I thought that I had a pretty decent background, but you know, some of them I looked at, oh, I'm not too sure I want to read this one. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got a new respect for my uh, high school and college English teachers, because <laughs> a lot of these books I have read only because of their insistence. Only because of them, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So okay, I got I to gotta say here, this mm -hmm. is a book that absolutely surprised me that it's on here. Um, a Confederacy of Dunces. This is yeah. a fabulous book. It is so wonderful, but it's just not hugely popular mm -hmm. or well known. And so I couldn't believe it showed up on there. Enough people. It's one of my all time favorite, favorite books. I wouldn't say it's number one, but it might be. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, it's, I it's was amazing. They were, I was expecting all books I'd heard of, but there were a few on here that I had not heard of, which yeah. might right. sound bad as librarian, mm -hmm. but you know, I you can't know and read everything, and everyone has their preferences. No. And I thought, boy, I would but, like to to have yeah. my book club read this book, but I'm not sure it's a, how many copies the library has of it because it's just mm -hmm. not that popular. Mm -hmm. It's so good, though. I'm, I'm <laughs> very sad writer. that we had no Nebraskans, so because I was we I, did have I, Nebraska, we, that, but we didn't have a we had a person who lived in Nebraska. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. it's not. It's is not. It, like, it, I, I'm just going to say it, you guys say it doesn't. The little Cather didn't make the cut. That's yeah. what I'm just saying. So. Is it Sanderson? Is yeah, it yeah, he is. Brandon Sanderson is on here. And also Nicholas Sparks. I think he has some. He has a, he has he has a connection, connection as well. Nebraska. But I wanted to see my interview. But, but Brandon Sanders, he really is. Brandon really is a Nebraska author. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But, you know, he hasn't lived in Nebraska for an awfully long time. Right, yeah. so right. I, I saw, I had him sign a book for me at an ALA once. And he said he wrote Go Huskers because he saw my nice. tag said in Nebraska. Nice. So he knows the. Yeah. He's a wonderful writer. Right. Right. Yeah. So there are a variety of ways for folks to vote, and we just want you to make sure that you vote. And it's interesting that uh, they'll also keep track of uh, the states. So when it's all oh, said and done, yeah. you know, we'll be able, they'll be able to say, well, this many came from this state, this mm -hmm. many came from that state. All right, so Huskers, you get out there yeah. and vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, which one of these is mine? Can you tell? Um, it's going to be the one on the right. One on the right. Left. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and then just do, uh, I better let you do it. No, we got it. Boom. Okay, there we yeah. go. I'm just going to show a few slides and ask a few questions and hopefully uh, get some participation here from some of you that are out there. Um, because I, I really think important local library partners are all of you from, from libraries and particularly those of you in Nebraska, but I know we've got viewers from all over the country. So what are you thinking, just like we just heard from Kelly about what kinds of ideas this sparked, is your library planning to do any activities or are you already doing any activities to take advantage of this promotional opportunity? Because you still have time. I mean, it's like, yes, the launch was a few weeks ago, but here we go. Now we're going to get the programs one after another all week, you know, every week, people are going to be talking about them. I mean, I know when I 
came to work the morning after the launch, people all over the office were talking about the program. Mm -hmm. they read, lots of people had seen it and, and were talking about it. This is going to be happening in your community. So what are you thinking? Anybody give us any ideas on the chat box or anybody want to raise your hand and we'll unmute your microphone? Yeah, let us know. Um, I see, Susie, you've got your hand raised. Do you have a microphone that you wanted to say something? I can unmute you or do you want to type? Let's unmute Susie, see what happens. <laughs> Susie, you are unmuted if you have anything you wanted to share or if not, you can type into the question section. And anybody else can just type in as well, too. I just saw that you had your hand up there. Let us know what you're doing at your library, what you're thinking about doing. If you already held an event um, with the launch, how it went. And while I'm waiting for you to type, is, is somebody typing? No, like somebody's typing. Yeah, she said accidental hand raise. Oh, no problem. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to remind you that if, if you want, you can contact Martha Ellen today. And she will send you out a poster and some bookmarks. Not until and September 11th. September 11th, she'll send it, but you'll get on her list. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get on her list. But we, so. can, we can't do anything until after the, the launch. Yeah. And you can, mm -hmm. right now, you can start sharing your stories of your favorite book. You can do that right now. You on can our Facebook page. On the Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is facebook.com slash NET Nebraska. You can do that, and you can encourage your staff to do that. And you can encourage your book club to do that. And you can encourage just your random customers that come into the mm -hmm. library. You can encourage them. So this is a way to get started. I know some of you um, have done some book displays. And now's a perfect time, if you haven't done it, to do your display. And you can add your poster to it when Martha Ellis sends send them out, poster and bookmarks. Um, I also wanted to mention, oh, I don't need to mention the resources. We already talked about those. And then, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is oh, that, yes. that um, we did uh, do, we asked our Talking Book and Braille Service folks to take a look at our collection and see what books are available and for to our Talking Book and Braille Service customers. And what we did find is that we have all, almost all of these books. We have a lot of these 100 books at, that are available to our customers, our Talking Book and Braille Service customers. So if you have folks in your community who can't see to read or who can't hold a book because of a physical disability, mm -hmm. folks with dyslexia, people that have reading disabilities are, are eligible or can be eligible to get books through us, talking books. Um, there's a lot of ways for them to get them. They can get them uh, physically through the mail, which is like a little flash drive that comes and we send them a player. They could, This is all free to them. And they can also download them automatically themselves and they can download them to their phones. I mean, it's all, uh, all sorts of ways to do it and they can participate um, in the Great American Reading. And what's great about the, um, this two, um, talking about the Braille service that um, Mary was talking about, it's not just people that have permanent disabilities. This is also for temporary situations as well. Break your people, arm. Some people don't realize, mm -hmm. yeah, you have an accident, you can't physically hold your book because you're recovering for a month or two, you are eligible for this as well. So it's not just for your your grandmother who can't see anymore, or mm -hmm. someone who has a, is um, vis um, visually handicapped. It's just for those temporary situations as right. well. Right. Yeah. yeah, and and for sure, um, those of you who are school librarians, please do talk to your uh, special ed teachers about the fact that students with dyslexia are eligible to download these books, and and it it. There's a lot of books. It's not just these 100 Great American Read books, but books to, in support of their education and pleasure reading and all kinds of books. So, In addition to that, I forgot to mention that um, although the books had to be in English, the resources are also available in Spanish. Oh, good. So, so when folks download, go to the, the source, the PBS source site, yes. all those are available in Spanish as well. So for the many Nebraska communities that have a large Spanish-speaking population, you can download twice. You've got one poster in English, mm -hmm. one poster in Spanish. Exactly. Cool. I was just double checking that post because I didn't see it up there. For in the talking book and braille service, it says all but four of the hundred titles are available. Nice. I knew they were most nice. of them. Yeah. Just that's few something that hadn't been done yet. That's great. Thanks for checking that, Krista. And then the other thing I wanted to mention for those of you in the state of Nebraska who are part of the overdrive project. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Oh, 
It's got, let me just say, in my defense, it's got a hair trigger. It and Chris, you're just moving it away from me. Wireless right. is a little bit <laughs> So there is a category in OverDrive that your library customers can go to when they're downloading OverDrive books, and it says Great American Read. And it's got all of the books right there so that if they want to just go click, click, click and put them on reserve, they can be reserving a bunch of Great American mm -hmm. Read books. <laughs> and that's no problem, pretty much problem. all I <laughs> think I'm going to be allowed to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's your it's it's your last. It's my last. You it's don't have my to worry about this again. It's my retirement encompass program. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. about reading. Yes. Um, so we just have one comment. Um, someone doesn't have anything to offer, but the presentation is enlightening and terrific. So, oh, thank, yeah, you thank you so you. much. Thank, you. thank so, you all for yeah. being here. If anybody does have anything else you want to share, type it in there. Yeah. Um, and let's put Martha funny. Ellen's information up again, just in case they forget who to contact for their poster and their bookmarks and their perhaps screening. Yes. Perhaps screenings. Yes. Who's to say? There we go, Martha Ellen. Yeah. So this is the local PBS, NET television. Mm -hmm. Work with them on all of this. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else anybody would like to add for the Last good of the words. group? Mm -hmm. Sounds like Lincoln City Libraries has got some fun it's activities been a, a, coming up. It's a fun up. thing to do and to look at them, and, and it kind of reminds you of books that you know you read and when you read them. And mm -hmm. um, I've always found it's fun to go back and reread a book after a long period of time, right, you right. know, like several several years for for those people that are kind of a little bit maybe a little bit more mature. <laughs> it, but it's it's fun to read something that you read as a teen or in your early twenties, and then go back and reread it later and see you know what. You know, is it still as meaningful? Is there something else that, that right. happened? So it was fun for me to look at the list and think, oh, I haven't read that in a long time. Maybe I should look at that again. Uh, a different perspective, yeah. Right, yeah. and just even watching the, the overview, the, the video, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, that looks exciting. <laughs> you know, so I've, I've, I've probably read a lot more than I have in probably, I don't know how many years in this <laughs> last year. So this has been a very exciting opportunity. It'd be interesting to see the ones that, because this happens a lot with other things like TV shows or uh, cartoons or whatnot. I loved this book when I was a teen. I want to read it again. Mm -hmm. And then you reread it in your 20s or 30s, and you're like, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was so wrong when I was a 13-year-old. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, it goes, so it goes both ways, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you watched the cartoon that you watched when you were five and thought was the best thing ever, and mm -hmm. now it's embarrassing. Right. Yeah, so it, 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 and that's okay. Well, it you goes both Reading ways. is all about, is all about you know, learning and, and discovering more about yourself and about the book, and it's, it could change over time, absolutely. Well, and I remember reading, trying to read The Catcher in the Rye when I was a teen, because it was mm -hmm. like, you know, it was this was oh, really yeah. before teen literature really kind of took off, YA literature So took rebellious. Off. And I just remember thinking, I, I don't get it. And there were so many parts of that book that just went straight over my head. I had no clue. And then when I went back and read it as an adult, it was like, oh, okay, I, I, I get this book now. So. And the other thing one of our staff members mentioned, and I, I'll just throw this out there as something that you might think about when you're thinking about talking to your customers or your book club about this, is, is it's, it's one thing to ask, uh, what book do we think will win? Mm. Now, not the book I like the best necessarily, mm. but what book do you think will actually be the top vote getter among all the people all Everyone over the country that around. are voting versus what book do you think really should get? Right. It's just going to be two different things because everybody right. has a yeah. different opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, also that's... because you wonder, am I that odd? <laughs> you know, is my favorite that yes. odd that only yeah. like... 10 people will vote for it, you know, it probably couldn't be because it wouldn't be up there. It, right. it managed to get through a screening process with 7,200 people. But. Now, Martha, you said there is, is it on the main page, there is somewhere they're, they're listing what are the current votes, like the top 20 or 40? Top 40. Okay. Top 40. Mm -hmm. That's that'll on the be, PBS site. That'll be on the PBS vote. site, and okay. we'll, we'll put that on ours as well. Okay. So, so it, it'll, it'll link so you can see how, how often you have to vote see who is to get left. yours. Yeah. I, I was also going to mention that um, there are several PBS stations, uh, particularly on the East Coast, that are also using this as um, a social justice initiative. Hmm. So they're okay. focusing on some of the books that mm -hmm. have like as as Katie said, you know, I might have read it then, and it means has a whole different meaning to me now, because oftentimes authors will embed a, a secret message into their 
their work. And so oftentimes um, people have been investigating, doing investigating on <laughs> what real, what's the real meaning behind that. Ah. Uh, and I mean, we were talking about our, yes. our perspective has changed CSI. personally, yeah. but you know, the, the climate and um, just in general of you know what's going on in the world today mm -hmm. is different from when you were a teen or a young adult mm -hmm. reading it, right. and that you might read it with a different view from the outside mm -hmm. that will affect your reading of the book because of what's happening in, in the world today. Right. So that's a whole different way of There's discussing all kinds media. of ways to, to look at this, but mm -hmm. you know, just very excited that people are, are excited and I want to participate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess we thank you all for joining yeah. us. And, and it looks like it's getting lots of traction. I'm seeing it all over. Now, of course, I am, you know, in my Facebook and Twitter, there's lots of libraries and librarians on it. Mm -hmm. But I do see people who are not in the library world. Nice. They're sure. responding so to I'm this. Like, awesome. mm -hmm. I love right. when my, my, my work like creeps out, seeps out <laughs> <laughs> friends. And I'm like, hey, how did you know about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's working. Libraries are working. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't look like anybody has any comments or anything you want to share right now. That's fine. Um, hopefully, you'll use some of the resources that um, we shared here. Contact Martha Ellen about what you mm -hmm. can get um, resources and um, visits from her. Uh, if you want to, reach out to Katie and get some tips on what they did at Lincoln City's City Libraries here. I'm going to hop back to our browser here. Uh, and then, you know, check out the website, vote, see what's um, what your book is. Um, is doing. And there is links here to their Facebook page and everything. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to our Encompass Live website. Uh, so far in the world, if you just use your search engine of choice, uh, Encompass Live is the only thing called that on the internet. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Nobody else used that name. <laughs> so you can uh, Google us and you'll find our main page here. Uh, this is where we have our upcoming shows listed, so you can sign up and register for anything we have coming up. But today's show has been, is being recorded right now and will be posted to our archives here. The link to our archives is right underneath our upcoming shows. And it will be at the top of the list. The most recent ones are at the top here. And we will post a link to the recording of the show, which will be on our YouTube channel. And all three of these PowerPoint presentations we will post up to our SlideShare account, where they'll be available for you to view and download um, if you want to have access to them as well. So we'll have all these links there. Uh, hopefully, later to, by later today, I should be able to get that all done, as long as everything YouTube cooperates. Um, everyone who attended today and who registered for today's show will get an email from me. And I also post it out to our Facebook and Twitter, um, our usual places. Um, I just mentioned here, while we are looking at the archives, if you want to look at any of our previous shows, we have our entire archive here. Uh, 2018 is actually the 10th year of Encompass Live. How did that happen? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I've been here this long. I've been here longer than that, but that's a different story. Um, and we do have all of our archives here, all 10 years. So if I scroll down really fast, to close your eyes and get you dizzy, this does go back <laughs> to the very beginning, nice. January 2009, where we met the NLC. Um, wow. So do keep that in mind as you're going through our archives. There is a search feature at the top, as you saw there, that you can search for our, through our entire archives or just the most recent year if you want just current, really current information. Um, but do keep that in mind when you're looking at things. You may find old information, outdated information. Some websites might not exist anymore. <laughs> it's still a little trip down memory lane, what it is. But <laughs> some of them may still be good. Um, it, it's, but we are librarians, it's what we do. We archive and historically mm -hmm. keep all these things, so we will have them all up there. But everything has got a date, so you can see exactly when it was originally broadcast to know, okay, this, this one about using Facebook was about Facebook in 2010. <laughs> so it might be interesting, but it might not be as useful as one more recent. So um, keep that in mind when you're looking at our, all of our archives. Um, so, uh, and speaking of Facebook, Encompass Live is also on Facebook. We have a click link here and from all of our pages. Uh, so if you do use Facebook a lot, give us a like over there. Um, I post updates, reminders. Uh, here is a reminder about logging into today's show on the fly, when our recordings are available. Don't want to do that now. I post on here when new shows are coming up, we post on here. So do um, give us a like if you do like to use Facebook um, and you'll keep up to date on there. Um, and I hope you'll join us next week for any of our shows. But next week, our topic is, as Mary Jo mentioned, book versus movie, the ultimate showdown. Fits right in with right the show. Great American <laughs> Reading. A <laughs> group um, of us here at the Library Commission, we do, every now and then, we do some shows here where we talk about books that we've read. 
um, here at the Library Commission. We actually have a Friday Reads blog post that we do where every Friday one uh, staff here posts um, a blurb about a book that they've read or they want to share. Um, and some of us have decided to get together and talk about comparing books to the movies that were, or TV shows that were made of them. So um, it could be controversial. <laughs> Hopefully there will be no big battles but um, about it, but we're going to chat about that next week. So if you're interested in that or if you have any opinions on that, join us uh, for that conversation next week. So please do sign up for that and any of our other shows we have coming up. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Krista. Thank, thank you for all for being with us. Mary Jo, thank you for being here for your last time. Uh -huh. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And, uh, Bye, everybody. Bye. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy. And thank you, everyone. I hope we'll see you next time on Encompass Live. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.